Welcome everybody to another edition of I'm Mad as Hell. And uh, my name is Pacino. I'm one of the hosts of the show, and we have Kelly. And she is one of our hosts of the show. And uh, what's going on? How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Was that breakfast good? Great. Great. Awesome. Yes. Mm -hmm. What you got going on today? Um, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got the my eyebrows one again. I try to do what I do. Do what you do. On a daily basis. Okay, okay. Uh, yo, today we're going to be talking about a little bit about hip-hop and uh, the state of our uh, black music, hip-hop that we call it. But uh, and I have a guest that I'm going to be bringing in uh, shortly. However, what i like to do real quick. Uh, first of all, I, I'm, I'm really pissed off. Why are you pissed off? Kelly, <laughs> I just turned on CNN. Mm -hmm. They got these this tea party people now. Mm -hmm. Who in the hell and where are these people coming from? They protest all over the world. They're all crazy. over the place. It's like a whole congregation of them, like everywhere. E everywhere. Mm -hmm. And now they got set. They, they down in, uh, I think Miami. They got a conference going. I know Nashville. They got a camp conference going on. And and, and Palin, Sarah Palin's going to be the, the the head speaker. I'm to, sure. Tonight. Are they going to bomb rush the Super Bowl too? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the hell they're going to do, but it pisses me off because I feel like where why is the media searching for the people that hate Barack? Because the media is a negative outsource. Well, we negative too, but we mad as hell about the, <laughs> the, the negative media out there. And what's this other woman talking about? We want to impeach the president. What, what are we impeaching him for? That's what I said. Because she said that he's trying to, to destroy America. Wow. That's what one of them dum dums said from the um, this, this, this Tea Party. I'm mad as hell at all you dummies <laughs> out there. And let me tell you something, CNN, all of y'all out there putting out, it seems like y'all look for the most negative people in the world. Now you got this mayor from Las Vegas saying, uh, well, uh, he, he really, he really don't learn too fast. Where you get this guy from? I have no idea. Kelly, what's It's strange. Go do something about this, man. <laughs> do something about this. And where, where are y'all entertainers? <laughs> And celebrities, all you people that believe in Barack like we do, where y'all at? They at South they they at South Beach, Super Bowl weekend. Come on, y'all. They on Twitter, they twittering about it. They they did he had a party? Yeah. And, they down there. They they getting it in. <sighs> y'all. <laughs> why don't somebody start coming out, stepping up? The people if you support Barack Obama and his efforts and trying to fix this nation, share this tape right here. I'm mad as hell. Don't just sit there and watch this thing and, and don't do look, we 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 called we was called because of Haiti. Everybody donating money to Haiti. Okay, great. Now look, now we have people trying to go against our president. Are y'all gonna let that happen? And let people Are see gonna they trying to dog our president, man, and all of it is because he's black. Let me tell you something, a lot of y'all white folks. Y'all true color show. Showing. Because now y'all wanna get him out of office. It's like y'all got him in there just to ridicule him. You know what I mean? So and we we feel like he could do the job. So you think it's it's because he's African American? Absolutely. It's the first he, one ever. Yep, it's because he looked just like me. And he the first one on well, record. Well, you're a little darker than you, but y'all look a little bit alike. No, he's like, actually he looks a lot like my father. <laughs> <laughs> he really so does. you think the celebrities, when we first, when Barack was campaigning to get in office, do you think that most of the celebrities were coming out? to get their own shine on because we know <laughs> there are some celebrities that are really like media whores. I hate to say that, but they only <laughs> come out when, you know, they want to jump on the bandwagon as for Haiti. You know, they, they come out for all these different things to jump on the bandwagon to get their own their you know, own fan seconds. base increased. You know, right. their own their own fifteen minutes of fame again. Right, right. To get their name back in the news. So do you think that when it's all this campaigning, because I know Diddy was out a lot, Luda was out, there was a lot of celebrities out like campaigning, campaigning for Barack. Yeah. So, yeah. I think you're right. I think because he was the spotlight for the moment, you know, everybody wanted to get their agenda out there and wanted to find out, you know, uh, what's going on, what's happening, and they put their stuff out there. So yeah, I think so. We're gonna take a little break right now and uh the commercial coming on is a is an STD commercial, and and I really need y'all to really focus in, and everybody that's looking at this needs to get tested. Go get tested. Get tested. Please. Please. Stop having unprotected sex. Unprotected sex, Ooh. not knowing what's going on. Five with your minutes mind. can ruin your life. That one minute can ruin your life, not knowing itching. nothing. No, you know what's going <laughs> <It's> on? <scratching. laughs> I don't know what's happening, but get uh -huh. tested. So look, we see y'all in the minute we come back. We have a guest that we're gonna introduce to y'all. We have a hot, hot few minutes we're gonna spend with him, and uh, we see y'all in about a couple, couple. Holla.
you know, like I know, you're gonna get tested. I know too many people that have got burned, STDs, for having unprotected sex. I know it could be embarrassing to tell your friends you're going to get an STD test or an HIV test, but you got to do it. Let's stay safe. 877-611-9620. If you wanted to be confidential, private place to go to, nobody knows about it. Everything's clean. Get tested. Let's stop playing. All right, welcome back to the segment of I'm Mad as Hell TV. I'm here with my co-host Pacino, and we have a special guest in the studio today. We have Tino Panama, Panama here, and he's going to talk about the state of hip hop in the world today here in 2010. That's it. That's it. What's up, dog? How you Tell doing? me what, Shelly, what you man. think Shelly. about the you know our state right now. Well, you know, as as a person involved in the music industry, you know, just like everything else with the economy. Sales are, sales are dropping, you know, people aren't spending the money that they were spending previously because I feel like they feel like the value is, is, is deflated, you know? Mm -hmm. You got a bunch of cats that's putting out, let me put this, let me put this out there. If you got a mixtape that you're giving out for free, stop it. <laughs> you're devaluing the music that people do. Right. You don't find any John, you never find any John Lennon mixtapes, no John Cougar Mellencat mixtapes. Exactly. No white stripe mixtapes. You don't even find Puff Daddy mixtapes. But why do you think they're doing it though? Is it because they <clears throat> just trying to get an edge, trying to get somebody to keep, know who they are? Why you, you know somebody? You know how you get somebody to know who you are. You introduce yourself to them ah. and tell them your product is worth them spending money on it. Yeah. Because if you're giving it away, you're devaluing and saying it ain't even worth paying for. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Let's get it. Let's get and it. Go ahead. And, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm, no problem. I'm sorry. But back to your point. They feel like that's the only way in because 50 Cent made it popular to m develop those mixtapes and so forth and start distributing them. It was cool when one person, two people was doing it. But when everybody as a collective feels that's the only way they can get their name out there, because I hear people telling me all the time and saying all the time, the reason they do the mixtapes is to get your name out there, let people find out about you. Tell them about yourself, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can go on the internet and play a 30, 30 second snippet of the same music. And right. find out if you like that person or not without spending the dime. Right, right. You feel right, me? Right, right. So with the mixtapes, all you're doing is putting put putting put music together that you're saying isn't worth buying. Period, mm -hmm. point blank. So with that, the sales of music since 2000 have been cut in half by 50 percent. True. Everybody that you see has a mixtape out. I really feel like mixtapes are one of the main reasons that hip hop music in itself is not selling like it used to. Because in all formats of music, hip-hop music is the number one format, period. We influence the most. The culture, the culture assists other people in this, in this society so much that people don't even grasp the concept of it. Mm -hmm. Think about a show like Pimp and Ride, Pimp My Ride, right? Mm -hmm. Remember how they were throwing TVs and all that in the car? Mm -hmm. Every car out now has a TV in it, mm -hmm. has satellite radio or something mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. has internet connectability mm -hmm. because, of, because of what the hip-hop culture has brought about. Mm -hmm. Hip-hop builds designs, builds clothing, builds popular culture. Mm -hmm. Hip hop even built the housing market. Mm -hmm. Let's break let's, that down. Let's get into before you get into the housing market, I really want to get into understand the mixtape and all that, but I'm a I'm a mom, my daughter's twelve, you know, we, we like I'm more of the beat kind of person. I like the old school, but I, I'm 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 the problem is with me is what what's coming out today is garbage in my in my in my sense. It's all about having sex Licking you up and down, touching your toes from the back, drop it low. You understand? And for, for a parent, I have to do the buying. Yeah. So if I have to go spend ten ninety nine on garbage and I know she's gonna get 12, 12 tracks of dropping it low, lick me here up and down, I'm not buying it. So I think a lot of that comes from the parents because we know that between this eleven year old and like seventeen